Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the problem on slip gauges. So let's get started. Now here we have a question in front of us. That is we have to build up the dimension 58.975 mm using the following slip gauge set, which is M112. First of all, I'll explain what is the meaning of a slip gauge. Slip gauge are basically strips. So slip gauges are basically defined by their thickness. Suppose the thickness is 1 mm and the width of the slip gauge is denoted by B. So if we have another slip gauge of any different thickness, and suppose here the thickness is 2 mm just for an example so the width of the slip gauges are equal but thickness goes on changing so slip gauges are those devices on which we can say their width are same so we can place one slip gauge over another and by using that the height can be adjusted that is we can go on adding the height that is if we want a height of 3 mm just for an example so we will be placing this 1 mm slip gauge on the 2 mm slip gauge and we are going to get the total height as 3 mm. So similarly here in this problem they have given the height as 58.975 which is to be adjusted with the help of this set of slip gauges which is called as M112. Now why it is called as M112 I will explain it over here. The ranges given are first 1.001 mm to 1.009 mm means these are standard values we have a slip gauge from 1.001 to 1.009 it mean it means it is increasing by 0.001 mm so like that we have nine pieces or nine slip gauges in this first range then we have the range from 1.01 to 1.49 mm and it is in the steps of 0.01 that is it is increasing by 0.01 mm and like this we have 49 pieces next range is from 0.5 mm thickness to 24.5 mm thickness having 0.5 mm steps like that we have 49 gauges and similarly next we have 20 mm 50 75 and 100 these are blocks of 20 50 75 and 100 mm thickness and the steps are 25 that is they are increasing by 25 mm starting with this is 25 not 20 so after 25 we have 50 then 75 then 100 so 25 mm steps and like that we have four pieces and at last we have a slip gauge of 1.005 mm which is having a single value it means there is only this single slip gauge of thickness 1.005 mm now when we add up all the values the answer comes out to be 112 so it is called as m112 set now by using this set we have to make up this height and the condition is from each set we have to select only one slip gauge that is the limiting condition so how to proceed further i'll show it into the solution part here we want a height of 58.975 mm so i'll explain a method here which is very simple and easy to understand first take this value and make the last digit after the decimal as 0 so in order to make the last digit after the decimal which is 5 0 i'll be placing 5 here and then put 0 over here that is for the previous two decimals then the decimal point and then place 1 now subtract this value so that comes out to be so the answer is 57.97 it means this is the first slip gauge which is to be used so the first slip gauge now we have to also check that if this slip gauge is in the set so 1.005 would be in this first range so that is accepted now similarly if i proceed further just i am showing you an example that if i try to make this as zero here we have seven then if i place seven here and if i place zero here and then when we subtract this seven minus seven that is zero 
here we have 9 this is 6 now 1.07 1.07 would be in this second range so that is also accepted 1.07 so that would be the second slip now similarly we have 56.9 and if i try to make now just take an example if this as 0 so i'll be placing 9 here and this is 1.9 so just when i am about to subtract it i can see that 1.9 this slip gauge is not coming in any of the range we can just check it because it is 1.01 .01 to 1.49 in the second range after that it is 0 0.5 to 24.5 means we are not going to get 1.9 so now we are stuck in this problem that is we cannot move further so what i'll try to do here is i'll make a change that is instead of in the second slip gauge taking a slip gauge of 1.07 i'll change the value here that is this is the second trial which i am doing so first slip gauge has been accepted i'll start with the second one that is 57.97 i am going to make changes here instead of 1.07 now i am using a slip gauge of value 1.47 so i'm just checking it that 7 minus 7 that is 0, 9 minus 4 that is 5, 7 minus 1 that is 6 and here we have 56.5. So 1.47 is easily there in the second range that is 1.01 .01 to 1.49 in that we have 1.47 as well. So this would be the second slip gauge. Now once both the slip gauges are done then I can also say that in the range of 0 0.5 to 24.5 there is an, a slip gauge of 6.5 as well because here the range is or we can say it is having 0 0.5 mm steps so after 0 0.5 we have 1 then 1.5 2 similarly we have 6 and 6.5 as well so we can select one gauge from here and now so it is directly 6.5 which has to be subtracted so this is the third slip gauge and at last we directly have a value of 50 which is there in this range so out of each range we have selected one slip gauge so that is accepted it means finally we are going to place a block of 50 to make this dimension as 0 and this would be the fourth slip gauge now once these slip gauges are done i'll explain it with the help of diagram that is how they would be placed one over the other at first the fourth slip gauge which is 50 mm block would be placed next after fourth the third slip gauge of 6.5 so one is 50 other is 6.5 would be placed then after that there is a second slip gauge of 1.47 mm so it would be placed and at last at the top we have a slip gauge of 1.005 which has been selected so when we add up all the values the total comes out to be the height which is 58.975 mm so here is the height adjustment with the help of slip gauges and as i have explained we have to select single slip gauges from each of the range which have been given and once the height has been adjusted now the slip gauge can be used in any application like it can be used along with the sign bar to measure the particular angle so in short that was the explanation regarding the given problem at the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग